Okay, in this lesson, we are going to animation, main part, the software. As you can see, the menu will be changed, and I'm going to explain uh, the object menu. As I said before, it's a capture keyframe for capturing uh, transform the object, uh, for keyframing the show and hide the object, and I want to explain the, uh, these three <coughs> uh, tools. Round table is for making uh creating rotation on the object follow pass for uh creating object that follow the pass is actually for uh animating the camera and the wheel is for animating the wheels i will explain the difference between the wheels and the round table okay going to the this object i want to uh, make a rotation on this object without any cane framing or any time consuming time you go to select that object it's here select it and then go into the object and round table it's very easy you have to set a start frame and the end frame and the angular rotation do not change this angular rotation it's nice uh, for changing the speed of the rotation, you have to uh, change the frame, start and end frame. If you increase this number of the end frame, we have more frame to animate and we have a slower animation rotation. Here is the end is, <coughs> is out or is in. As I said before, this is a first frame. If you want to out of the first frame with a smooth, you can set it to the easy out or easy in. So it is okay. As you can see, uh, automatic animation will be appear here. And you can simply play it. As you can see, the <coughs> round table animation is created very easy. You can select it, pause it. You can select it and here is properties. Here you can change the start and end frame again and the angle the speed of the rotation is depend on the angle and the frame rate range here bring it to the first uh, for a smoothing beginning of uh, the rotation you can uh, for first frame using is out and the end frame is in i explained them before as you can see we have an a smooth curve here that it means from <clears throat> uh, frame 0 to this frame for example I want 250 and it means it's uh, a smoothly beginning to rotation from 0 to 250 frame here and I want to beginning the end of a smoothing from this frame <clears throat> from 150 to click anywhere to execute the number to the end okay this frame has been here exactly and what happened it smoothly begin and then rotate the uh, the full speed <clears throat> and bring here and smoothly goes to the end end frame as you can see it's smoothly end and it's nice so you can click it and change the frame and the ease and the angle anytime that you want. In the round table, it's automatically select the center of the object. You cannot change the pivot uh, for changing. For changing the pivot and more properties, you can uh, select a wheel animation. For example, I select this table, select the hierarchy of that. <clears throat> and select the wheel in a wheel we have exactly the sitting that was on in a uh, round table and here instead of the angle we have a number of revolution for time it with revolute and here we have a rotation direction you can rotate it counter was uh, wide or uh counter counter clockwise or clockwise you can change the direction of the rotation and the most interesting thing is pick a center for example you can pick a center 
if as i said before you can select any uh, point of the object in the default pick you can for example select this part of the uh, table and then click ok and as you can see animation will be uh, appear here and it's it turn around that uh, pivot that you selected but in a round table you cannot change the <coughs> pivot and you don't need to select the pivot it's automatically rotated from the center of the object in some cases it's useful, useful but in some cases uh, it's not so you learn difference between wheel and the round table and other interesting things you can select and delete the animation select the parent another interesting tool is follow the path for example i want to create a camera <clears throat> and follow this path to make an animation first i create a camera here attach to that and for example go to the beginning of the this line <clears throat> the camera i want to begin it from here for example that's okay detach from the camera as you can see this is our camera i want to attach this that this ca this camera to the that pass first select the camera that you want to make a path for that going to the, <clears throat> this object and follow pass click it as you can see here you can change the first and the end frame for a speed of the camera is in or is out you learn it for first frame is out for end frame is in and the second thing you have to pick a path select it select a pass and hit okay oh it's it's will be a snap to the uh, end of uh, first of the path that you created hmm. so as you can see animation will be happen here and the camera will be attached to the pass but it is in the wrong direction okay select the camera as you can see if you <clears throat> attach just the, just the camera to the pass when you select it and move it as you can see select and move the camera sorry <clears throat> we have to uh, attach it from the first of the uh, this curve okay select the camera um, we can go into this as you can see we are exactly at the middle of that pass <clears throat> and follow pass pick a pass and the pass and that's okay and as you can see if you play this camera follow that pass okay but as you can see if you move from here if you go to detach attach the camera and play as you can see we are in a not good angle at the first and not good angle at this part <clears throat> okay you can animate the camera as well as this camera is moving okay Go into the camera and detach. I want to mention that if you select the camera and change it, as you can see, it does not change the position of the camera. Okay. For example, I want this camera go a little up, or for example, rotate it from this angle. When you hit play, it snap to its position. Oh, okay. It's not good. <clears throat> Sorry. I want to explain you something interesting. When you want to attach a camera to a spline, and if you want to move the camera and change the rotation of the camera, you have to do this. Select the camera, right click on it, and add a parent. This is one of the benefits of the, <clears throat> the first of one of the benefits of the parent and child uh, system in simlab computer as you can see this is an assembly folder that uh, under it, it is a camera F first you have to select this assembly and attach this assembly to the pass okay select the pass follow pass pick a pass 
select that path and okay as you can see if you want to rotate the camera you can simply rotate the camera in any angle that you want and it will be in that position okay with this method we can uh, change the camera angle and animate it if you want for example i'm in auto <clears throat> k-framing in this frame i want to rotate camera in this angle you can go and <clears throat> attach to it to see okay if the camera go here as you can see automatic k-frame as you can see if the camera goes here i want to more rotate then rotate in this direction <clears throat> it's automatically k-framing rotating in this direction okay i want to make it a little you can go to the camera view and see what happened here and work on it okay and after that i want to the camera go to its path and that's it okay going to the camera view and what what should we what we created here so in this method you can use the you at, attach the um, assembly or parent of the camera to the pass and of course you can also animate the camera and see what happened as you can see you can animate the angle of the camera and that's it you have to more uh, spend more time to editing the camera view but i want to explain what happens if you want to rotate it okay you learn it and detach it so it's very easy in the next lesson we are going to explain the material animation hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release